All right, everybody, we are back with more Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, so we need to build a boat here. So I need to open this bad boy up. Ah, we may need... Oh, okay. He's going to bust my fucking balls. I'll just chop down a couple trees. No biggie. Still got my axe, right? Yeah. Maybe don't use this in combat, because I might need it, and I might screw myself. Catch that, bad boy. Just the fucker to fall off the ledge, so we'll slice it this way. I don't feel like that's going to work. I feel like I'm going to need it. Sit that way. Let me sit this down. Let me put... I feel like I need... This. And then attach this bad boy like that, right? Okay. Okay, I'm drowning. Not moving though. We gotta attach it to the ass end. I wonder if I gotta put it in the water. Or lose it. See if that helps. Not good that I'm like pushed up against the fucking wall here. Alright, this is not going well. No! No spin! No spin! You rat fuck. Alright, it's just gonna keep spinning me in circles where I placed it. That's a little better. Yeah, turn my. This is like very awkward. It's not like the most intuitive system ever. Did I legit just bug myself in the water? I'm going to die in the water because I'm bugged. Oh, no, I'm not bugged. The water's pushing me. I hope I don't... I won't start too far away. But, uh... Yeah, the system's cool, but it's not like the most intuitive shit ever. And the frames drop like a motherfucker when you use this. Alright, I'm centered... Arrow's the only way I know how to start it, so. I shouldn't, like, spin around, though. 
the water is pushing me this way. My boat's trying to push me this way. All right. We're making it. We're good. No worries. Cool. Let's grab some of this. Opal. A valuable ore that gives off memorizing whatever. Could start a fire if I want, but I don't really need to right now. What's this? Stam bulb. I'm assuming that's probably gonna give us stamina at some point. Hello. Oh, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Let's hear it. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood, then strike it with a metallic object or a stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but this is the best to internalize the basic fire. Yeah, sure. You can cook anything, anywhere, anytime. All you need is a pot and a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Save these parts for materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful. Okay. First step is to create a fire. Okay. So, that's good. Um... It's sort of warning me that it might get cold, I think. So maybe we'll see if we can make like a fire elixir with some of the choo choo jelly that we got. We're going to first try to figure out how to make a fire here. Okay. We'll drop that. Set that on fire. My shit's on fire. I don't really want that. Alright, so. We will grab one of these, and then one of my choo-choo jellies. See what happens. Oh, no. God damn it. How do I make an elixir, then? I wonder... I don't really have any recipes for anything yet. See what happens. Alright. Oh. Can't imagine it gets that much colder up here. But who the fuck knows? I need your choo choo jelly. That was a good idea or not. What's this? So we got a charge. That's cool. More charges. Yeah, so it's definitely worth uh Definitely worth giving this a shout. Fuck out of here though. Alright, climb me climb. So the goal is here to get this last shrine in this episode. I'm going to try to keep this around the 30 minute mark if I can. If I go a little over, it's not the end of the world, but would like to wrap this first little section up today. That's a big choo choo. What the fuck? Oh, you got some, some uh, stamina on you, little fella. All 
All right, I do want to say, uh, again, thank you all for the support on the first two parts. Um, if you do watch this, I greatly appreciate it. hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. It's a lot of fun. Jesus. That guy's a little tougher. So all these guys are pretty tough. I'm trying to get a fucking headshot here. Whoa, bitch! Oh, he's down. I'm trying to snipe some of these guys from like a longer range. Fucking bow broke. Alright. That guy's a one hit kill. I've got to get more um, health. As my, uh, my dodging methods are not there. Like, I cannot get away from that fucking asshole. He's killed me, like, three times now. Hope I don't start, like, super far back. Alright, we're good. Yeah, this game's not too brutal as far as, like, the restarts go. So, like, dying, I really don't give a shit. I am gonna fucking switch bows, though. If I can. This is a little more durable. I'm gonna try to fucking take these guys out. Chairs, I got 15. Right, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Super Saiyan stealth mode here. We'll go super sneaky. Super sneaky. Not the drop. Oh my god, it's got that shit in it, really. That's why I was missing. Still haven't found me yet. They're looking though. He's just like slinging shit wherever he can sling it. God damn it. This is going worse than the last time. Alright. Took one dickhead out. Me and you, buddy. I'm trying to pick up the branch. I was doing a little bit of damage to him. I'm trying to get him down to a couple uh, amount of arrows. Alright, it's me and you, buddy. I cannot dodge that guy. I don't get the dodge mechanic. Like, legitimately. Right. It's kind of weird I just can't get out of the way fast enough. I'll get better. I'm gonna have to or I'm fucked. Captain Construct Horn. Okay, cool. Some arrows back at least. A rusty shield. They're worth a shit. Some charges. Alright. Arrow. I gotta recoup some of my arrows here. Arrow times five. Let's see what goodies we got. An opal. Wow. Sure, it's useful for something, but I doubt I'll use it that much. What's that sound? Oh, there's a uh, tunnel here. Hmm. So we can walk it. Or... We can ride it, and my vote is for riding it. Yep. 
See how far this takes us. Holy shit. I got like super dark. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Ah, you do not know how to use... The glowing flowers there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them to illuminate in dark places. These bright blooms go natively in caves, such as this one. This cave has been picked most clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. These seeds were often necessary... I am posted here to provide a number of brush. By the way, do you know bright blooms require a stimulus bloom? Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate upon impact. Bright bloom you're seeing there is different because it's bloom. Generally your best... Okay. I don't really understand what he's talking about. I did pick up some bright bloom stuff, though. Somewhere. I think. I thought I did. How did I not pick up Bright Bloom? I... Oh, this is it. What happens if I... Oh, I don't want to throw that. I'll figure this out at some fucking point. Zonite. Okay. I don't know how to use the uh, seeds. Like, you didn't really... Uh... Did he tell me and I just don't like remember it or let me see real quick I'll figure this out maybe brought black bloom seeds I mentioned before there seeds that will plant the seeds bloom immediately from impact of a sword oh all right let's try this out So I'm going to switch weapons real quick, because... Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Makes sense. Don't fucking keep quit hitting the wrong button. Alright. I don't know how much how long they last, but that helps. Alright. Assuming we gotta get out of this cave to get to the next shrine. I'm not super confident that, uh, I know you're not the same one. Wait. Don't tell me I just, no, I didn't. I did just go around the circles. What the fuck? How'd I go around the circle? Okay, that's the one I planted earlier. Not sure how that happened, but I literally just walk I just got like super disoriented and walked around in a circle. That's embarrassing. I'm 
gonna throw one of these down because it's like annoyingly dark. Ah. Hello. Hmm. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing Zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is Zonite I mentioned. It is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well. But they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing the substance into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting into a furnace. It's thereby converting it to minerals which use properties. A few such materials will be ready for you shortly here in a moment. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials that ore can be processed into. Zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials, this way is called processing. Alright. So let's take one, I guess. Yeah, we'll learn about that stuff as we go. It's like he's breaking some of that down. Could it be that you've forgotten bring Zonai capsules? You've forgotten yours, or perhaps you might not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient mi means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It's unfortunate you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Okay. Cool. Alright, so as I gave you the last ones I carried, get again. But it's not you put in this capsule, think okay. Blah blah blah. Alright, let's pick one of these up. I must protect myself. Calm down. Okay. I don't rotate it because the fan's facing away. We'll attach this like yonder. Give it a smack. Going on a ride, boys. This game is awesome, man. It's really, it's kind of this mechanics, like I said, it's like a little finicky, but once you start to get the hang of it a little better, it does improve. Damn, that thing's way up there. What the fuck is that? Alright, whatever. Hey, buddy. Time bell. That sounds from the Temple of Time rings at the set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Mm. It also played part in our traditional ceremonies in a way. It was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound, its bells stir fond memories in me. Alright. That's sweet. Alright, just kind of exploring a little bit. I know we need to go back the other way. What the hell do you have? You like a fucking thing of fans or something. Hello. Device dispenser. Operation confirmed on track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, you want to use the div nearby target is met. Are you welcome to use it? All right. Assuming we gotta, we gotta give it something. What a uh. Jesus. Alright, hang on. I could probably ride the... I might have a couple options here. I already have this assembled. I'm gonna grab it. We'll come back down and talk to these people later. A good smack. Is 
Give me like a bunch of different materials here. I'm just gonna keep the one I got. I'm not gonna be able to navigate this, I don't think. Let's see here. I'm missing some steel somewhere. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, I'm gonna swap weapons because I don't really want to break blocks with that. So. Can't break blocks with anything, I guess. Oh! Alright, pick us up. I got a Zonite. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out something here. I got an idea. I know what I gotta do. Grab. Grab this bad boy. Try to attach it here, I guess. This is like really awkward. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing, to be honest. Find out soon enough. If I fucking go careening off the edge here. Right. I think we're okay. Let's see if this gives us enough juice. Go, baby, go! 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 Go, four eyes. Get the fuck out of that. Nope! Stop! Smack! Alright. Somehow get our fucking ass up there. So it's in this chest. Portable pot. Sweet. Nice. Right, so we made our way up here from there. I still feel we gotta probably. Alright, now I'm just gonna jump. Jump it! I'd like to get to this tower today, if possible, so. I'm not even gonna take that fucking thing on. I don't know what it is. It's gonna start getting cold in it. Can you teach me a fire elixir, dude? Not asking for much. Unprepared travelers will simply lose fortified how insufficient preparation lead to death in harsh environments. My advice can avert this. Please listen carefully. The primary safeguards used in our creative meals for warm them. These meals are typically prepared using ingredients, warm sound names such as ingredients of spice. Also, thick clothes or warm themselves by fire. Be mindful of your ingredients when cooking. Okay. Didn't really fucking help me. Uh, cook correctly. It's heating properties improve blood flow. It's... I don't know. Like, I'm just fucking guessing here at this point. Rock hard food. <laughs> Alright. So I did figure out one thing. But I don't know if I can get up there fast enough to make it worth it. I, I need an acorn, honestly, is what I need. Um, so a spicy pepper with an acorn gives you 3 minutes and 20 seconds of heat resistance. I feel like I need just like simply one more would be ideal. I don't have a fucking axe, of course. I knew that would happen. There's also fish in here as well. I 
I know I can. I think I can do like spicy trout or something. I can't really get the fish because they kind of just fucking swim away too fast. Cool, I got him. So, I'm gonna try to cook that with a pepper to see what happens. I'd like just a few more minutes of cool, re or yeah, cold resistance would be nice. Hold that. Give me a pepper. Try to cook this. See what happens. Please be. Uh... All right, sweet. All right, we got six and a half minutes of cold resistance, so. That's what we're taking with us. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to book it up this fucking mountain here. All right, uh, there's my food. I'll start with this. Work away from there. Time to get lost, Link. Not the time. Fuck did I climb up this thing at? Don't tell me it's right here. I see. Huh. Well, that's not good. What's the plan then, Stan? Climb up this and shimmy up the side? I don't really know. I doubt it. I don't think I got the stamina for it. I'm definitely not going to make it up this. I wonder... Am I an idiot? I think I'm an idiot. Well, I know I'm an idiot, but how big of an idiot? Could I have just continued up this path here? I'm running out of time to record for tonight. This is taking like way too long. I didn't need to use that yet, motherfucker. Well, now we're down to three minutes, so if we die from it, that's our fault. You fucking... That's what I needed. I definitely needed to do that. Some spicy peppers. I don't know how much they give you as far as cool resistance goes. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to go. Alright, that looks, that looks right. Alright. It's like way the fuck up here. I don't have time for you right now, buddy. I got places to be. People to see. Time for you fools either. I don't have time for this. Not far they'll track me down either. Bye forever. Let them fight. Hmm. He got frozen. Ballyhoo! Alright. We're good. Wait a minute. You lied to me, game. You said I wouldn't take damage in water, you fuck. Alright, yeah. I am done for the night. Um, I do am enjoying this game. We'll figure this snow shit out in the next part. But I do want to say thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next part. Peace out.